All right, so in front of us, we have Shotscope's 2022 new lineup of products, including a new handheld and laser rangefinders. Let's dig right in. All right, so consistently, one thing that we've really liked about ShotScope is something quite refreshing when it comes to companies and mm -hmm. that they listen to their customers. Yeah, they sure did. They sure did. Mm -hmm. So we did a video not too long ago when the ShotScope V3 watch was released, and we said the number one complaint that people had with the V2 was the size, and that was the first thing that ShotScope did. They addressed the size, made it much smaller, friendlier, closer to the size of an Apple Watch, and they increased the battery life because that was the other issue, telling you that they were listening. Absolutely. Well, now they've gone and done it again because now lingering the one other complaint that consistently seemed to come up and we saw it a lot in the comments and even with us using it and the other video reviews we've done are the people saying, well, what if I don't want to wear a watch? And there's a lot of people who've been saying that. Right, there's a lot of people who out on the golf course just don't want something on their wrist. Mm -hmm. And because of that, unfortunately, previously they were left out of the stat tracking that the V3 provided. Well, those days are behind us. <laughs> right. So now we've got a brand new product called the H4. So we're gonna unbox this first, take a look at what is inside, tell you about its features and how it works. And then after that, we'll dig into the new Pro LX and Pro LX Plus laser rangefinders uh, because they are designed to work together. Okay. We'll show you how in a second. But first, let's get this opened up. This was largely designed for people who don't want to wear a watch. Okay. And the price point is also very attractive. It's $149 for the H4. So that's an incredible price to get that stat tracking. If you didn't get a chance to watch our other videos on the V3 where we talked a little bit more about the stat tracking, uh, make sure to check that out. But in a nutshell, what this device is going to do is it's going to talk via tagging, which we'll show you here in a second. It's going to talk to the clubs, know which club you have in your hand and tag each shot so that you have detailed statistics like the pros would have. And now this is no longer needs to go here anymore. Right. I clip it on the belt. Exactly. So let's let's first lay out what we've got in the box itself. So first, it comes with the H4 unit itself and a belt clip. The H4 unit does have a powerful magnet on the back. So it's giving you multiple wearing options. You can put this in your pocket. You can put it with the belt clip here, or you could Effectively, you could put it on the golf cart. Ah, that's a good idea. You know, throw it so anywhere we have a metallic surface that you can put this onto. It also comes with the tags. These tags go on each of your clubs. They're labeled, so it's very easy to do. And they screw into the grip. Very simple, doesn't do any damage to your club. We've been using these for years. In fact, we've been using ShotScope products now for I think it's three years. Yeah. So we've mm -hmm. had these in and out of multiple different clubs, multiple different grips. I like them because they're simple, they're light, they stay secure. You would not know these are on your clubs unless you look down and look at it. They're that lightweight, they weigh pretty much nothing. And I love how ShotScope has thought of everything. If you're not a belt wearer, they even added this. Yes, so there's a way that you can actually clip that on. Um, I think it's what goes on right here. And you could put this on your bag. If you're a, like, let's say you walk a lot, yep. you could have the H4 clipped onto your bag. We'll talk about how you have to interact with it in a second because you do have to tag it. But also in the box comes with the charger, which you'd be familiar with if you have seen the, the V3. It works the same way. It's a USB charger with a clamp. But the actual H4 itself, what it'll do on here is it's going to display all of your GPS distances to front, back, and middle. It'll also, you can scroll through and see your distances to hazard. So again, very familiar mm -hmm. with the V3. And if you look at the two together, they're very similar, almost the same face. However, the H4 is much thicker. And this is largely because the antenna, the GPS antenna is in the band gotcha. here, Mike, mm -hmm. for the V3. This is a all self-contained unit. The antennas, the everything, is in this little unit. This is all you need. And in fact, what I think we're gonna see is a lot of golfers who just put this in their pocket. I think so. 
Yep. Super simple that way. Now let's just quickly talk about how that tagging works. So you've got all of your tags here. With the V3 watch, there's no interaction that you need to do. Uh, the watch will detect when a tag is near it mm -hmm. and it logs it as a swing because of the accelerometer or whatever other technology is in here that physically detects the motion of a swing. That in itself logs a tag. So you don't need to do anything. That's the convenience I like. I personally don't mind wearing a watch right. out on the course. Mm -hmm. I'm very used to it and you're done. With the H4, you since this is not moving itself, especially if you've got it on the bag or something like that, it needs some way to know that you're about to hit a shot. So it's as simple as just a tap to tag. Easy enough. So let's say you've got this on your belt, you've got your club in hand, you just take the, the you know grip of the club and tap it. It now knows you're about to hit a shot from that location with that club, it's tagged and it'll show in your statistics. Beautiful, nice yeah. and easy. So again, it's something that is, sometimes the best products I think are the simplest that mm -hmm. solve a simple problem. Right. And this was, the V3 itself was revolutionary in its ability to have stat tracking, battery life, this thing lasts 30, there you go. Can I put it here? Put it here, you can put it wherever you want. you want. On the hat, sure. But it was revolutionary in the way it worked. Battery life, we got 36 holes out oh, of yeah, this. Oh easily. Um, mm -hmm. And the stat tracking, which again, uh, is really in my view, ShotScope's claim to fame is that stat tracking. You've got either the app or the online portal where you can go through and look at all your stats. In fact, one way that we use it on the podcast, every year we do a goals episode and we look back and see what type of metrics that we've set for ourselves that we are able to hit. Right. So we love that. Here, what ShotScope is doing is basically taking all that technology and just reworking the body, so to speak, in a different form factor that can simply clip onto a belt or wherever a magnet. Yeah, so the anti-watch wearers have no excuse now. Right, but let's show you how this now interacts with ShotScope's other offering, brand new offering, which is the Pro X. This is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. This is pretty cool. So the brand new laser rangefinder from ShotScope is the Pro LX, and then there's the Pro LX Plus. The difference between the two is that the Pro LX Plus packaging includes an H4. Right. Okay, so you can buy the two together. That would give you your laser and your stat tracking. We'll open that in a second. One important thing to know is that you don't have to buy them together. You can buy them separately. The Pro LX is the laser rangefinder without the stat tracking. Okay. However, if you already own the H4 or if you purchase this and then decide to get the H4 at a later date, you can, they still work perfectly together. They're designed to work together. And we'll show you what we mean by opening this thing up. So opening this up, you'll see the new laser rangefinder, which is kind of the second generation or a new iteration of the Pro L1 laser rangefinder. This is the rangefinder that ShotScope came out with about a year ago. Mm -hmm. We did a full look at this. You can, uh, we'll link to those videos in the video description so you can take a look at that. What we really liked about this is that you got the slope, you got the, the quick accuracy, you've got the vibration yep. feedback. Mm -hmm. You got all of that in this at a really attractive price point. Uh, here, what they ShotScope has done is they've basically taken the Pro L1 and, and put it on steroids a yeah, little bit. Yeah, so immediately, new design. New design. I think what they really put a lot of effort into was this ergonomics. Like yeah. You feel that in your hand. It's really... I was wondering with this little cutout. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and that cutout serves the dual purpose. So grab that H4 there, Mike. Okay. And you'll see there's a, this flat spot back here. Slide that off. Yep. And then you just take, there's a little magnetic like filler here. You Pop take that off. off and then boom. Wow, that's a strong magnet. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you almost can't, can't even, even pull, pull it off. off. Right. So there you see this the form function, the way the two work together. Here you have your H4 on your Pro LX. Well, that eliminates the immediate concern of I'm going to lose these two. Like that is a strong magnet. Right, and it's, it gives anywhere. you another place to put it. So if you don't want to put it in your pocket, you don't want to wear it on your belt, you now have everything contained in one. So this then becomes your laser rangefinder for when you want to fire pins and your GPS numbers, front, back, middle, hazards, and stat tracking. It is now an all-contained unit. 
There are also a few subtle differences uh, other than the not so subtle visual and ergonomic differences as far as performance dif differences between the Pro L1 and the Pro LX. So the Pro LX features a seven time zoom. So it's a little tighter than the six time zoom that you got from the Pro L1. And it offers just a bit more range. I sometimes laugh that these range numbers are outrageous I anyway, know. because the Pro L1 featured a range of 875 yards. If you're 875 yards away from something, <laughs> you've got your own problems. That's for sure. You've got your own problems. <laughs> this has a range of 900 yards. So basically range issues are out the door. You mm -hmm. can reach from any distance <laughs> as far as the, ra the range finder goes. Uh, also, this one does feature red and black optics. Oh, that's cool. So yeah. when you look through, your crosshairs either come up in red or black. Yes. And one new feature here is a third button. The Pro L1 had two buttons, a power button and switching between modes. Here we've got the power button, the mode button, and a dedicated red or black button. And why I like this is that on different conditions, sometimes it's better to have that red or black contrast when you're trying. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying yeah. to see it, it's very quick and easy to, to, to switch between the two. But uh, you still have on the side here, you've got your slider to turn the slope on and off so that we'll calculate with slope depending on the, the rule conditions. If you're playing in a tournament or whatever it may be, you have that there. But I'm really excited about this because I think it does answer a lot of the potential issues or whatever that people had and why they weren't going into the V3 system. Yeah, it makes sense. I am excited. I'm loving this orange. I'm actually excited to see what the blue looks like. Yeah, we'll open this up really quick too. So if you were to purchase the Pro LX, and I'll pull up the prices here. These just dropped. So if you purchase the, as I mentioned before, the H4 is priced at 149 by itself. If you purchase the Pro LX uh, laser rangefinder, it is $249. If you go for the combo, which is the Pro LX Plus, which is gonna be the H4 and the Pro LX together, you get a little bit of a savings. It's 349. So effectively okay. it brings the price of the H4 down to a hundred bucks. To me, me, if you don't have any stat tracking yet, I think this might be the no brainer, I depending so. if you want to get the, the watch. Mm -hmm. I still like the form function of the watch, but I think that this is going to fit for a lot of people. I think for the extra hundred bucks to get the stat tracking and GPS that you get from introducing the H4, I think the no brainer is to go up to hit this. And in this box, very simply to show you how similar they are, you just have a Pro LX and there you go. an H4 in the box. Regardless though, what I really like about this and what I like to see about this is that I think it's going to get more people into the stat tracking. It's exactly. something that if you watched our previous videos, if you watched your on the course videos, us talking about on the podcast, you know how much we've relied on stat tracking to improve our game. You can't get better if you don't know what you're struggling True with. Enough. And mm -hmm. sometimes as golfers, we don't always realize where the areas of improvement are and what the shot scope statistics do, which there are hundreds of statistics and there's newly introduced strokes gained and strokes gained against other people in your similar handicap. It really starts to show you and kind of shines a light on areas of your game that you might not have otherwise realized were the lowest hanging fruit for improvement. Hmm putting, short game, mm -hmm. shots within X distance. It's all in there. So I think that in general across the board, golfers on a whole will start to improve the more we have access to stat tracking, something that previously only the top tour professionals had right. this level I remember track. the days of writing it on my scorecard. Exactly, and, and when you were writing in your scorecard, you had a handful of statistics, exactly. greens and regulations, fairways. This is, the t this is tour level statistics brought to the everyday golfer. And at that price point, 149, yeah. I think it's an absolute no brainer. And the one thing we've said in previous videos where we've re reviewed ShotScope products, and the thing that I'll continue to say is the number one selling point for me as a consumer is that there are no subscription fees. I love it, never. So you've, you've, you, you shell out the 149 mm -hmm. for the H4 one time, and you have your statistics forever. You're not then paying X amount a month. It doesn't compound. Uh, ShotScope has done a incredible job of keeping that access to your statistics free. 
So again, I think what I like to see here is that ShotScope is expanding their offering. Obviously, this is just the first look. These just hit the market uh, here today. So it's something that we wanted to make sure that we got a chance to dig into, show you some of the main features, but importantly, we are gonna get these out on the course. Soon, that's right. And test mm -hmm. them a little bit deeper. Um, but like I said, I think the most, most important takeaway is that the H4 packs all of the statistical punch of the V3, but in a form factor that's slightly different if you don't want to have a wearable while you're out there. And the fact that it's been designed to work with the new laser, which has those ergonomic mm -hmm. improvements, as well as a little bit more magnification, slightly a little bit more distance, but that ability to work right hand in hand with the H4 is where we're seeing these holistic systems of both laser and GPS so that you know you have got your number to wherever you're hitting. You are fully covered for that having that system. So that is everything we have. Guys, let us know your own thoughts as well as any questions that you have on these systems in the comments below. We'll try to answer as many of them as we can in the comments, but we'll also test them and try to answer your questions in our video when we take these out on the course. You won't wanna miss that, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. We'll see you in the next video.